And what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Arx Angler. So today I wanted to chase some redfish down in the coast on my kayak because it's been a while since I've caught a redfish. However, as you can tell behind me, look how gloomy it is. See that gray skies? It's even worse down the coast. They got thunderstorms right now with high, I think east, southeast winds. It's not a good time to be fishing. And on top of that, we have another cold front coming right behind this storm. So fishing has been really, really tough and it's actually getting kind of aggravating because it's hard for me to go out and I live in Houston, traveling from Houston to the coast, take some time. And when I'm off and it's raining and I, that's the time I get to fish, it just doesn't work out. So what are we going to do? How do we remedy this problem so we can continue to bring you guys some fishing content? Well, I am here today at a pond that I've known about for a long, long time. I just never fished, never had the opportunity to fish, or just never really made the time to fish. But today is, is the perfect opportunity to do that because I've heard there's some nice, big monster chunkers in this pond. So I'm actually super excited. Stay tuned. Let's see if I can pull something out in this pond and make this video a worthwhile watch for you guys out there. All right, ladies and gents, before we start, let me show you exactly what we're gonna be using. Hopefully this rig will catch me some big old chunkers today. I got the old 18 hollow point series rod. This is the seven foot three medium, heavy medium rod. Uh, very nice rod. This is gonna be the first time I'm using it. I got it paired up with a Shimano bait casting reel. I'm gonna be using, I got, right now I have it tied onto a, I believe this is a quarter ounce jig head, which I am going to tie a black, and blue swim bait a darker color because i'm looking at the pond it looks very stained so let's go ahead and put that on let's try that out and just like that folks there you have it really nice setup really good first bait to use when you uh when you fish these ponds a nice little search and destroy type bait i mean who can resist a dark paddle tail along with some a nice hairy jig right i mean if i was a bass i wouldn't want to i'd want to hit this all right here we go man just when i just when I'm about to start fishing, it starts raining. Well, we're gonna make the best of it. How you doing? Good. Doing good? You know, I'm not quite sure how deep it is here. Water looks very stained. I see some swirls already. There's a turtle there. Turtle's all over here. Let's see if we can catch some fish. First cast, here we go. Get that first cast out of the way. Hopefully we don't catch a fish. That's usually bad luck. What I'm doing is I'm just working my lure. It's a heavy lure, so it should get down there really fast. I said I really don't know how deep it is. It doesn't really look that deep to be honest with you. And I don't even know if they want a bigger profile bait looking lure. So we're gonna try our best. Just waiting for that slight tug, that thump. There we go. That's a fish. That's a smaller guy. First fish today. That was a very subtle thump. Nice little fish. Oh, he got off. That was a fish though. Well, at least they're hitting this jig head. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see, there's another one right there. So it's a choke point between this large pond and that pond right over there. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a nice size. Little oh, two pounder. First fish today. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, boy. <laughs> That's a fish right there, boys. On the jig head. Nice fish. Man, it's been a while since I caught one of these. Uh, he's probably like a pound and a half, maybe, if I'm lucky. But they fight so voraciously. There you go, little man. <laughs> yes. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. God, I'm not. I'm not even feeling them hit. It's a probably same size I just caught earlier. Nonetheless, I will take them. Nice bass there. Nice little chunk. Probably about another pound and three quarters. Maybe they're really not that big. Maybe this is the extent of the sizes that they're going to be out here in this little pond. Nonetheless, there you go, buddy. <laughs> awesome. 
There we go, another smaller guy. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are microscopic. Where are the bigger ones, dude? Dude, you are taking more than you can handle, my friend. <laughs> Love LMBs, man. Love me some LMBs. There we go. Oh, did I hit? hit? That was a nice hit. I felt that hit. Threw it way the heck out there. There we go. There we go. He came back for it. <laughs> right in the middle. I just jumped this freaking lure as far as I could. Just sitting right in the middle where I thought they'd be in the deeper. <sighs> nice little dude. Pretty fish. There you go, bud. Let's do that again. Chunk it as far as we can. So we get a bite. Yep, yeah, they're there. I'm just getting thumped. Right in the middle of this pond. Okay, I'm gonna try a crankbait now. Check this out. This is made by 13 Fishing. Cool little crankbait. Never used this before, but uh, I think it'll do pretty well. What do you guys think? This is kind of towards the end of the pond here. I got hit twice. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. It's a smaller guy, but at least I caught one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, gotta be careful, man. We got we're using <laughs> we're using trebles. We're gonna stick ourselves. Hold up, playa. Boom! Look at that. Thank you, my man. Thank you. All right, here we go. Last cast, people. Last cast. Let's see if we can get something to bite, and then we're gonna call it in because it is getting dark and it's getting cold. Really, really cold. There we go. Last cast and we got a fish. Oh, he's a bigger one. It's going to be the biggest biggest one today. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Come on in here, buddy. This is going to be a two pounder. Two and a half. There we go. That's on time. Look at that last cast. Well, actually, this guy's a decent one. This is probably the extent of how big they're going to get in this little lake. Or pond, rather. Yeah, that's a two pounder easily. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Heck yeah. And don't you love when a when a plan comes out really well you're like last cast last cast and what do you know this big girl hits it all right let's let her go all right folks man that can, that i couldn't script it out any better last cast catching my last fish and it was the biggest fish for today I know this pond can produce some nice fish. I don't know, but maybe perhaps they're not here anymore because a lot of people will sneak on to this pond during the nighttime, catch the big ones, take it to their own personal pond. There's a lot of sketchy things that happen during these golf course ponds or these local ponds around the city. People are always trying to steal that big old bass, but I know there's been a big five plus pound um, bass caught in this pond before. I've seen pictures, but just didn't happen today. Maybe I just missed, maybe they're not there, who knows, but it did kind of quench my thirst for catching a fish because it's been a while. Like I said, the Texas coast is a no-go because of the weather. Hopefully it'll clear up soon and I'm able to bring you guys some more redfish content. But however, I just got an email that a package just came in to my house and I'm super, super stoked. And I want to really want to show you guys what this is so you guys stay tuned. Alright ladies and gents, that's right, I got myself a new thermal rifle scope. This is the ATN Thor LT model, the bare bones, the probably the most least expensive thermal optic you can buy on the in the market today. This cost me a hair bit above a thousand dollars, but trust me, that's really cheap for thermal optics. I decided to go with this model because I want to get into thermal optic games and if you saw my last hunting or my only hunting video of hog hunting I've ever done, 
I totally missed those hogs because it was pitch darkness and I couldn't see. So that was a game changer and that was an eye opener to me telling myself that, hey, if, I'm, if, if I wanna make this work on my channel, I need to be able to see in the dark. So this thing right here is hopefully gonna be a game changer for me and I'll be able to spot those hogs at nighttime. So stay tuned guys, pretty soon I'm going to debut this and I'm going to break her in really nicely, hopefully with a massive, massive Texas bore. But don't worry, this is probably not going to be my last thermal imaging optic because I really can see myself getting into it. If you want to hog hunt in Texas, you have to do it at night. And if you want to hunt at night, you have to have one of the, at least this baby right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's kind of a long winded video, but I just want to show you what's happening on the channel and just stay tuned, all right? Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you on the next one.